Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, Susil this side and today we are going to see a scenario inside the Power BI. So basically how could we change the column names dynamically in the Power BI. So here for example we can see in the top side we are having this slicer and in the bottom table we are having the data. So if we select the city on the slicer then columns will be changed according to selection of that. So here we can see all the cities data is in column. Now let me switch to country. So once we select the country then we can see all the informations which is related to the country names are in the column. Now we change customer ID then we can see all the customer IDs after that we can see the product names. So these are the product names or label on the columns. So it is changing according to our selection. So dynamically it would be changed. So how could we create this so for that go to the next file. So here I have already loaded the data. So if you want this source data, then you can drop the email on the comment box. So I will provide the source file. Now go to on the transform data. First thing what we want to do, we want to create one more column that will have only those columns which we want to see in the slicer or we want to see the change values dynamically for those columns. So here first of all I would suggest to create one more column that will be the index column. So go to on the add column and here you can see the index column. So if you want to create the index from 0 or 1 you can do that. So I am very happy to use from 1 and this is index. Now you can create the duplicate. So right click on the query and create a duplicate for that. And here you can rename this. So I am going to rename as master and here as I told you we want to keep only those columns which is related to the dynamically changing columns. So first is customer ID so we can select that one. Now go to on the right side and here the second column that will be the product name so we can select that one. Now go to on the right side and here we can see the city so we can select that city and the last column that will be the country name. So these four columns will be changing by selecting the values. The last column that is index we should keep that as well. Now go to on the home and here you can see the remove other columns. So other columns will be removed and it keep only these five columns. The second thing that I would suggest to do the unpivot by using these four columns. So we can select these four and go to on the transform and here you can see the option for unpivot. So we can click on that. Here you can see the attribute. So these are the columns by which we want to do the change. So we can rename this and these are the values. So I am very happy as of now and we can load this into Power BI desktop. So close and apply. And we need to wait few seconds. It will be loaded in the Power BI desktop. Now it is loaded successfully. Now next thing go to on the relationship. So here as you can see it is already created the relationship. If it is not created on your then you can delete and here it might be like this. So you can go on the index and try to drag this index and drop in the master. Now it is created. Now go to on the report view. So inside the report view first thing I would suggest to use the matrix. So this is the matrix and you can increase the size as you want and here go to on the master file and here you can see these are the columns and these are the index and the value. So this value should go inside the columns and next thing go to on the sales detail and here I would suggest to use the sales order ID on the row. So you can scroll down a little bit and here these are the sales order ID. So you can drag this and drop in the rows. In the values we want to see the sum of order quantity. So this is the order quantity we can drag and drop in the value. And here we can check this is the sum so that is good. So here we can see we are having all the values like the country, the customer ID and everything that we have on these four columns. So next thing that will be slicer. So we can select the slicer and 
you can decrease the size and here go to on the master table and drag this column and drop on the field so we can see all these now go to on the format and here you can see the selection control and select single so here it is selected city round now let me switch to country so we can see all these countries now switch to customer id so it will show the customer id on the columns now switch to product name so these are the product names and you can do the formatting as you want so this is very simple as i have explained step by step if you have still any doubt you can drop the comment and i will try to respond on your comment thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe our channel to get many more videos please share this video to your friends thank you so much guys